Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Another high speed armor test from Aimed Research and Buffman Range. Got a couple more special threats today. Today we tested that MIL 46100 steel that we tested from Patriot Armor a while back. This is the 3 8 thick piece of steel. Our testing distance is 45 feet. This time we shot some M2AP 30-06. This is FN Herstal Manufacturer late 60s. We shot some M80A1 that we made from the components that American Reloading sold at one point. And we also shot some P80 black tip. This is Israeli manufacturer. This is commonly mistaken for M61 when sold online, but it's not the same bullet, but people like to call it. It still has a steel core, kind of like the M2AP, but a little different design and not as hard. So let's see how these react against that hard steel. Up first is our M80A1 out of our 762 by 51 millimeter NATO. As you can see, there is no problems penetrating this 3 8 piece of steel. We're working on different camera angles and camera distances. It's kind of hard to judge what's a safe distance at times. As you can see, there's a lot of fragmentation coming off the steel when we hit it. So in future videos when we do these, We'll have to work on different camera angles. We didn't have any ballistic shell to put behind them, so we didn't have any for that. It's amazing, this is supposed to be the Army's standard ball replacement for M80, and it's able to punch through 3 8 thick steel. Here are just a couple close-up pictures of that penetration on the steel. Now on to our P80 black tip. This is an older design. Again, has a steel core like the M2AP. Shape slightly different. Not as hard as well, but again, no problems penetrating through this 3 8 thick piece of steel. Here's a couple close-up shots of the penetration on the plate. Now, for the good stuff, here's our M2AP from 30-06 Armour Piercing. Look at all that fragmentation, those sparks coming off that plate. Now, I've read some armor companies that sell a quarter-inch MIL 46100 plate as level 3 armor. We'll try to tell you that it can stop M2 AP. Well, yeah, I don't think so. If there's any different angles that you guys would like to see some of these videos taken at, let me know in the comments below. I'm always doing work with Nathan at AIM Research. We have some M995 tungsten core 556 by 45 coming up next that we're going to shoot against level 4. We'll have that backed by ballistic shell. So if there's different angles you want to see or something else that you want to see, let us know. And we're always trying to look for more content. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.